Car accidents can happen to anyone at any time. We can't really control that. But there are things you can do to prepare yourself in advance just in case. So attorney Angel Reyes of Reyes Bartolome Brown is here to give us some good information on how to prepare for that uh, instance that we all hope will never happen, but probably will at some point in time in our yeah. lives. Thanks for having me, Rob. Uh, as a matter of fact, something you ought to really think about before you buy a new car is the safety ratings of that car. And in fact, uh, you know, most people are thinking about the make, the model, the mileage of the car. But if you really consider the safety ratings of the car before you buy it, whether it's new or used, it can oftentimes save you an awful lot of money and potentially pain in the future. So don't just look at the fashion and the style, but actually look at how safe a vehicle that's yeah, going to be. Yeah, it's a very important consideration. All right, are the things that we can do, uh, you know, nowadays in terms of getting the correct information and being prepared if something happens? Yeah, there are some, some phenomenal websites. In fact, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS.org, has been crashing cars for us for decades. <laughs> they've crashed every car, every make, every model, and they've rated them from a safety perspective. And so if you go to I IHS.org. You can then find out where your potential either used car buy or new car buy falls in the safety ratings, and that's a, that's a great idea before you buy the car. So you can get online ahead of time and find out not just the uh, the, the mileage or the uh, you know the car facts if it's been in an accident, but how safe it's going to be if an accident happens. Exactly. All right. Another key thing people think about is is insurance. How to be prepared in the yeah. insurance department. It's very important to consider that because one, it's the law. In Texas, you, all drivers have to maintain a certain minimum amount of insurance. And unfortunately, the Department of Insurance has also informed us that at least 20% of all drivers in Texas have no insurance at all. And so it gets a little worse. In North Texas, the number could be as high as a third of all drivers have no insurance. So I recommend getting as much insurance as you possibly can afford. That means probably going above the state minimums and getting some under or uninsured motorist coverage because there's so many drivers out there that don't have insurance at all. So if it's a third of them out there, that's really something to be, be considering. All right. Yeah. So let's say, unfortunately, we are in that situation. We find ourselves having been in an accident. What can we do at that time? Well, first things first, Rob. You know, make sure everybody's okay, including yourself, because cars can be replaced. People really can't right. be. And so after that, don't leave the scene. Stay cool. Stay calm. Don't argue with the people that you've been in an accident with because you never know what kind of hothead they might be. And then start uh, thinking about how to get the appropriate information so you can take care of it later. Yeah, and so you talk about collecting the information. What do we really need to, to know when we get there? We're out in the middle of the road. We have to get the information. Yeah. First of all, how do we keep a clear head about remembering what we need to get? It's not easy to keep a clear head. Let's get that straight, especially when you've just been in an accident. But, you know, I found that there's only really a couple of ways. The old-fashioned way, you can get a pen and paper out and start taking down the information. But there's also some really cool new apps for all the smartphones that will actually prompt you so that you do get the name, the address, the telephone number, the license plate number, the driver's license number of the person you've been in an accident with. And so it's really important that you at least try to get as much information as you can, especially if a police officer does not come because you won't be able to rely on that police report to get that information in the future. Also, the smartphones have cameras. You can take pictures. Or if you don't have uh, a smartphone with photo, I've always heard to keep one of these disposables in your glove box and just have it there just in case so you can pull it out, take pictures, and you've got a record. A terrific idea. I mean, if you've got the, the ability to take some pictures and if your head's clear enough to do it, right. do it. All right, well, what about the legal implications of, of an accident like that? Well, there's that? really only one simple rule, and that is don't sign anything unless you've talked to an attorney. Um, you know, that, that goes for a lot of reasons, but if there's been an accident with serious injuries, you really need to level the playing field. The insurance company is not your friend in this situation, and they're really working hard to limit the amount of money they pay you. So go find yourself a competent attorney and get some good advice. So get the information, get a safe car, and get the details if something does happen from a competent attorney. That'll All right. You. Thank you so much for being here. Always good advice as ever. For more information, you can log on to Reyes Bartolome Brown at ReyesLaw.com or call 214-526-7900.